Welcome to Casual Cooking's channel. We are now at the MTR station in Taiwan. This time we passed through the Hung Yuan Wai port. Passing through Lian Tan port. But this time we are not taking the MTR. Try taking a bus from Taiwan to Lian Tan port. See how long it takes. Now take everyone to find this bus. The number of this bus is B8. The bus frequency is very frequent. Let's go now. It will be more convenient to go through the subway station. If you take the MTR, take exit B. No need to cross the road. Along the left. After we pass through exit B, there is a bus terminal. Go to the far left and you will see. The big sign says B8, Hyung Yu NY Port. The price is $16.10, start from here. This is the main station, it's 12.20 for noon now. Less people takes a ride. In fact, the rides on Saturdays and Sundays are more frequent. How long does it take for this car to get to Lion Tan Port? It's the first time today that I'm being nice. We want to know too. Check with the driver later. It's 12.20 for now. Let's see how long it takes to arrive. Ask the driver. It takes one hour to reach Lion Tan Port. I think it's okay. Acceptable. The buses are very frequent, with one leaving every 10 minutes. This time I went to Lion Tan. I had a mission, after buying something on Taobao. Then deliver the goods to the collection point in Lion Tang. Then go up and receive the goods, because some products are relatively large in size. If you use consolidated shipping or direct shipment to Hong Kong, the freight will be more expensive. Take a look at this operation method. Isn't it convenient? Boarding time is 12.24. Let us see how many minutes it actually took to reach Lion Tang. See you later. Now come to Lion Tang port. It's 23 minutes past 1. Really exactly an hour. Nice driver. The driver really didn't lie to us. I think okay. It feels more comfortable than taking the MTR because there are no seats on the MTR all day long. Let's take the escalator in front it's now. It's the departure hall. Because filming is not allowed in the departure hall. Leave the country first and then continue shooting. This is shop D13. Still Express. It turned out to be near a barbecue restaurant. Just found this company. These are the steps for collecting Taobao goods on behalf of others. When you shop on Taobao, fill in the address here. That is, Shop D13 on the first floor of Lion Tan Port Commercial City. Collecting goods FEs, 5 days is a cycle. Small items, $3. Medium piece, $5. $10 for large items. Extra large, $20. If you don't come to pick up the goods for more than 5 days, that will add money. If you don't come to pick up the goods for a month, it will even clear your shipment. How to pick up the package? It's the video number. Your Taobao has the tracking number of the shipment. Company name. You can get it now. This is their WeChat. You can add him on WeChat to ask for details after getting the goods from Taobao. Now go find something to eat. This time we want to eat vegetarian food. We use software. For example, Dianping and Michelin. Search for attractive vegetarian options nearby. Use Dianping to search for a vegetarian restaurant called Jingxing Tianchu. Per capita consumption is $10. A little curious, what would a $10 vegetarian meal look like? Use AMAP to search for this Jingxing Tianchu. You can take the bus or the subway. Let's take the subway. Go to entrance 3 of the subway station. Then take line to Tushanku Road. Subway station exit 2. Go go go. After we left Lion Tan Port Commercial City, then go to the left direction. Take the subway to Shanghu Road Station. This is the 3 entrance of Lion Tan Port Metro Station. Take the subway here to Shanghu Station. 
take the subway one stop from Lion Tan Port. The next stop is Shanghu Road, is the direction of Zhao Misha. After arriving at Shanghu Road Station, just take exit A. In fact, a 1 and a R2 are almost the same. After exiting A, open Guild Map. The distance is also very short. It is estimated that it can be reached within 9 minutes. Let's go straight. After exiting exit A, turn left at the second intersection. We come to this intersection, you will see a big stone. It says Lion Tan Village. Let's go a little further. It's that $10 vegetarian restaurant. Saw that sign. This is the mall. Jubal Commercial Center. Reached our goal. This shop is called Jinxing Tianchu. Buffet style. There were two of us and we paid $22. Includes two sets of cutlery. In fact, it was originally only $10. $1 is the cost of tableware. They will give us two lucky bags. These are pastries. It's slightly sweet. There are also many choices. There are more than 10 sweet pastries for you to choose from. There are also fried rice noodles and fried noodles. Comes with rice and fried rice noodles. Lots of vegetables. You can eat as much as you want. The most important thing is not to waste. And soup and porridge. All you can eat. Today is Saturday night. There aren't many people, but if you want to eat more exquisite dishes, have to come early. You have to queue up before 17.30, free for the first 50 people. Because the first round is two people, many of the exquisite dishes have been eaten. In fact, the food is not the point. The point is the boss as kindness. As you can imagine, an all-you-can-eat vegetarian meal costs $10 each. There won't be any money to be made. He doesn't run this store to make money. To promote vegetarianism, he told us that there are many benefits to being vegetarian. For example, increasing happiness is the blessing of longevity, not the abdomen. Haha. <laughs> if you want to be in good health, just be a vegetarian, less killing. This is their philosophy. After hearing them talk about this concept, it's worth shooting a video for them to promote. They are not looking for profit, they are interested in promoting. Learn about another vegetarian culture. It won't be serious. I won't say that you must be a Buddhist. All faiths or no faiths are welcome here. If you want something lighter, come in. Just walk in. Welcome to come in and eat. Everyone will have a lucky bag. Let's open it and see what's inside the lucky bag. Okay. Two very good big buns. Of course it's a vegetarian buns. You can take it home and continue eating it. It is also good as a late night snack. The feeling of having coarse food. Although it is a simple meal, I feel the owners care. Mainly to promote vegetarianism, not for profit. I took fried rice noodles, fried noodles and some vegetables. I'll try its taste. Is it because it only costs $10 and cook it casually? Haha. <laughs> wow. You're not just cooking it casually, are you? Cook with heart. Fried rice noodles are delicious. Pickled radish is also delicious. I like eating sour radish very much. Wow! This one is well done. Crisp. Moderate acidity. Pickled radish is delicious. Potato floss. The taste of potato shreds is not bad either. But it's not as tasty as sour radish. 
That is the end of today's video. Thank you everyone for watching. Goodbye. Happy Lantern Festival. Today is Lantern Festival. Happy Lantern Festival. Goodbye. If you like my video, please subscribe and press the notification button. Don't miss video updates. Thank you all.